In this video, I'm taking you to the south coast of Iceland, Skogafoss, canyons, beaches, and a ton more. Let's start. I was not expecting it to be like this grand. She is the nicest of them all. In the first part of Iceland vlog, I took you to Snæfellsnes Peninsula, the Golden Circle and some beautiful lagoons. Click on the link above if you want to find out more. Good morning! It's my birthday! So we're going to Wick today and we will be seeing a few waterfalls and a few more spots on the way, including a few hidden ones. So let's get going. By the way, the day is quite dark and the visibility was really poor. I was really scared driving, but I'm so happy that I'm getting the confidence. And if you can drive here, I think you can drive at most places. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, if you see these beautiful, bright glass domes, they're actually greenhouses. And Iceland is an amazing country because they power these with the geothermal energy, the hot water that comes out of the glaciers. Iceland is really cool, seriously. Let's get going because we have a bit of a distance to cover to get to our first stop, Seljalenda Falls. We just got to Seljalenda Falls. Let's go check it out. Seljalenda Falls is one of the tallest waterfalls at 65 meters in Iceland. It's also one of the narrowest at only 10 meters. The first waterfall is really impressive, but that's not the only one here. There's quite a few around. We're going on a little walk. Let's go exploring for some more. Honestly, you appreciate the might of nature standing right in front of this beautiful waterfall. Incredible. So in Iceland, you get four for the price of one. Uh, what was your favorite part, Sefa? My favorite part was the the one starting with G down there. Yeah, the very last one, right? But, but you need waders. You need really tall boots to actually get in there. I would have loved to wear really tall boots and actually get in there and actually experience it. Yeah. Like yeah, I really like actually on the middle, the one in the middle with the Riachuelo. Yeah, my favorite was the last one as well. So yeah, come prepared with taller boots and a parka maybe. Yeah, because it was like, there was a lot of mist coming through and I didn't want to get wet. Off to the next one! The drive between Seljalanda Foss and Skoga Foss is not very long, but this is where the beautiful part of the road starts. You will see a lot of waterfalls on your left hand side. We just got to Skoga Foss and had an amazing lunch with an amazing view. And now it's time to burn all those calories by going up that path. So the last time I came, we did this as a day trip, which was really rushed. So we've decided to stay at Wick tonight. Let's see if we can see some Northern Lights. Hopefully there's less pollution, light pollution. I mean, let's go now. Skoga Foss is one of the most impressive waterfalls in all of Iceland. It is 60 meters tall and has an impressive width of 25 meters. Skoga Foss is even more amazing when you look at it from above. There's another level of waterfall higher above and the whole area looks beautiful with scattered ice all around. After spending an hour at Skogafoss, we are heading to our next stop, which is my absolute favorite, Rhinus Piara or the Black Beach. There are plenty of black sand volcanic beaches in Iceland, but this one is my absolute favorite. It has the hexagonal rock columns and it's a huge beach, but more importantly, I waited six years to do this. 
I always wanted to see what the beach would look like from above and this is my birthday present to myself. Next time I come to Iceland, I will come here in summer so I can actually experience this water. We all got so enamored with the black beach that we didn't realize it's getting quite dark. We are heading to Wake Now where we will stay the night. We just got to Wake and we're gonna stay the night here. My friends have popped into the restaurant. We're going for my birthday dinner and I'll see you tomorrow in the morning unless I get to see some northern lights. Stay tuned. Sometimes life just slips in. I'm gonna sleep the happiest man tonight. Do you wanna know why? Well, I'll show you. Hands down, this is the best birthday present I've ever received. Look at this, it started off faint and then it just took over the entire sky. There's no way to describe this, it's just pure magic. I haven't gotten the chance to see a lot of wick, but we have an amazing view from our window. Let's go check it out. Look at that! Okay, we have a long drive ahead of us today because we're going quite far and then all the way back to Reykjavik. Let's get going. The visibility got so low and then it got much better and then it went bad again. And the landscape changed very quickly as well. All drives in Iceland are full of beautiful drama. We just spotted some nice locals. Let's go meet them. Hello. So adorable. Not in the mood. You don't need to do much to meet the ponies in Iceland, they're right by the roadside. But please make sure that you are parked safely. You just can't park everywhere because the roads are quite narrow in some parts. How adorable are they? And this one, she is the nicest of them all. If you like to travel deeper, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so I can bring you some more amazing travel destinations like this. We made a couple of stops on the way to appreciate the beauty of Iceland and the rainbow that came along. We just got to the lagoon and the diamond beach and we're gonna do the same thing. So just, this is our last point and then we're gonna make our way back and stop at a couple more spots. Let's go check out the lagoon. So the sun has come out, but it's really strongly windy. One little tip, when you go out of your car, make sure to hold the door because it just blows open sometimes and no insurance covers that. Be careful. Let's go check it out. The lagoon is absolutely humongous, much bigger than I expected and the beautiful snow with these two shades of blue, absolutely amazing. We also quickly popped on to see the Diamond Beach, which is called that because there's little pieces of glacier scattered all around and it looks like diamonds on the beach. But sadly, it's too hot for that. It's a beautiful beach nonetheless. 
The weather changes so quickly here, you know. 10 minutes ago, we took our sunglasses out and now we're back to cloud and gray and rain. How are you finding the driving? Um, nice, uh, when the weather is nice and the sunshine is out. <laughs> <laughs> it is quite scary, but it's really, really beautiful as well. Oh, oh. <laughs> Hello, you just got in. Yeah, so it's here with her hot chocolate. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and we are going to the glacier now. Let's go! We got to see the glacier from the road while driving, but unfortunately we couldn't get any closer because it is all icy and it's super dangerous to drive here. Svina Falls Yokol is an outlet of Vatna Yokol, which is the largest ice cap in Europe. This is the first glacier that I've seen up close and I was hoping a little bit for some calving but that didn't happen, it is quite stable. My favorite part was using the drone here because I got to see all the little crisscross ridges throughout this beautiful glacier. Honestly, Iceland makes you appreciate the power of nature in a different way altogether. Iceland is absolutely crazy beautiful and I honestly was not expecting it to be like this grand and we also got really lucky with weather. There were some strong winds etc but it was not too bad after all. Uh, I'm really happy I'm here with my friends and it just makes the whole experience so much more fun and um, luckily Carmen is here to help me with driving because I really hate driving. <laughs> so we have one more stop left for today. Um, it's a canyon, so we can't miss it. Let's go check it out, and then we are heading back to Reykjavik. This is the most dramatic part of today's drive, and yes, we are a little bit tired, but the waterfalls around definitely invigorating us to get to our next stop. We just got to the canyon. The landscape here changes so quickly and so randomly, it's amazing. So there's still like snow here and I don't have any cramp on. So we're just gonna stop at the first point, but I have the Norse God of drone on my side. He's gonna show us what the canyon looks like, right? Yeah, if you want to do like this more in, this, in the winter, come with cramp ons. Fjadrar Gjulfor is one of the hardest names I've ever pronounced. And this is the name of this beautiful dramatic canyon. Pictures and videos just don't do justice to how magnificent and how huge this canyon is. The black rocks with white snow and greenery around, this is becoming my new favorite part of Iceland. It's not just the canyon though, the river flows into an open area and then it becomes almost a piece of art when you look at it from above. I wish I had more time but it is getting late and the sun is going down. We are heading back to Reykjavik. The drive back to Reykjavik was really scary. It was windy, cold, rainy and foggy and visibility was really bad. The only good thing we saw was Seljaleda Foss lit up. Good morning! It's our last day and we had two choices today. Either to walk around in Reykjavik and explore the city or go to another beautiful lagoon and possibly see the, you know, geothermal bakery to see how the bread is made in the ground with the thermal water. Guess which one we've chosen. Yes, we're going to the lagoon, but I'm right outside the church. Let me show you that, a quick visit, and then we get going. The Cathedral of Reykjavik is one of the symbols of the country. It was sadly closed for service, so we walked around a little bit. It's a small city center and really fun to walk around. Quite colorful, but there's not much to see, so we are heading next to the lagoon. Welcome to Logarvat and Fontana. I'm just gonna call it Fontana because that's easier. I'd made the reservation online, so we went inside, changed, 
I took a nice shower and then we are heading out to the lagoon. The lagoon is right next to a beautiful lake and offers not only amazing views of the lake but also of the mountains around. This place is amazing. I think this one is my favorite for sure. The different pools with two degree difference in temperature. So you go hotter as you go along and your body gets used to it. Now the best part. Taking a plunge into the ice cold water was absolutely amazing. It is part of the Nordic Scandinavian tradition. And we ran straight to the sauna after this. The sauna was perfectly warm and offered amazing views of the mountain and lake. And the steam room actually had steam made from the thermal water. It is time to say goodbye to Iceland and here are the last two things we want to talk to you about. The first one is food, which has been absolutely incredible. Do you agree? The lamb soup is beautiful. Yeah, so lamb soup, definitely try that. Don't miss it. And secondly, it's the rye bread. Eat tons of it, it's really good. And the best thing I find is even the petrol station food here is really, really good. Like. We've been just munching, you know, our hearts out. It is expensive, but it is totally worth it. Okay, the last topic is the Ice Age people. Um, they're very extremely blunt and it could come across as quite aggressive at times, but I kind of felt like as the days kind of went on, we realized that if you give them a little bit more time, they open up a little bit more. Um, but and yeah, they don't, they don't really smile a lot, but that's generally who they are. Time to get to the airport. Let's go! What do you think of the south coast of Iceland, Skoga Falls and all the beautiful places we visit? Don't forget to tell me in comments. See you at another beautiful destination next time.